Let me holler at you for a second. Because right now, things are chaotic. It's, it looks stressful. It looks bad. And trust me, there are a lot of bad things that are happening in the world right now. But let me just get you centered and focused for a second. Let me make you turn within self and think about a few things. There's a saying that goes, when it looks like everything is shaken up, and all over the place disrupted. Sometimes that's when things are really falling in place. Things are getting in order. The system as we've known it for so long is being challenged, it's being disrupted, being dismantled and changed. In my personal opinion, things are gonna turn out for the better once everything has transpired and the dust clears and you're gonna see why stuff had to be shaken up. But I say all this to say, when I stepped out on faith to run my business full time, I went through hell. It was not easy. I, I battled with homelessness. I lost a lot of things. I lost a lot of people along the way. And the reason why these things happen to you is because when you have the faith to step out on faith and believe that what was implanted in you is for you, you will face challenges. It will not be easy. There will be obstacles thrown in your way. There will be people that would try to sabotage you. There are, there's these people called dream stealing people who try to steal your dreams from you, who try to take your ambition, who try to use and abuse you because they see you're a good person. So they try to make a name for themselves off your blood, sweat and tears. I've dealt with that. I've dealt with that. It's people that I worked for that to this day, they still owe me money. And I mean, I did big jobs for them, big contracts. I, I got one payment up front. I finished the job. And then when it came time for them to pay me the rest of what they owed, they disappeared on me. There were people that I worked with that was getting paid for some of the work that we did. And I didn't even know about it. It wasn't until later other people told me, yes, this person and yes, that person got paid. You mean to tell me they didn't give you your money? I told them to give you this, 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 and this. I learned all of that. And the reason why I learned those things was because it was the universe's way. It was, it was God's way of showing me, stop being dependent upon people to get you where faith can take you. Because see, sometimes we look at what other people are doing and we try to model ourselves after their success model. Sometimes we try to attach ourselves to other movements, other ideas and other creations because a lot of us don't really have, we don't have a uh, belief in ourself. We don't have enough confidence to believe that we can manifest inward, outward, what God has put into us. We don't trust ourselves enough. We think that the only way we'll be successful is if somebody help us get there. But I'm here to tell you, boo-boo. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that sometimes you gotta go through hell to get to heaven within self. And that's creating the alignment of the energy that you need to manifest what it is that you desire. You have to be able to see yourself walking into the visions that you have for yourself. And as I minister to you, I'm still ministering to myself because there are times that I look at what I'm doing right now behind the scenes that I don't talk to anybody about except for a few people. And it shocks the hell out of me because I'm, I'm working on things that I wouldn't have never imagined that I would work on. And so people are always constantly trying to find out what you, what you doing, what you got going on, throwing stuff out there, little distractions. Because again, when you're powerful, you move in silence. You don't need to let everybody know what you're doing because when you don't let people know what you're doing, they don't know what the fight you want. I learned that too. All things work together for the greater good of those who love him. Everything you went through, everybody you encountered, all of the experiences you had in life, are being used to teach you how to value yourself. It's being used to teach you how to have confidence in yourself. 
and to understand that the talents and the gifts that have been placed inside you are being pressed out through the trials and tribulations and errors and failures that you face and deal with. And I always tell people, young people that I mentor, if God brought you to it, he can bring you through it. You see, this journey ain't easy. Success, not easy. Nobody is successful without help. But through the things you deal with with bad people, it teaches you how to accept and embrace and discern who's here to help you and who's here to hurt and hinder you. Uh, I, that's a whole sermon right there. I could talk about that all day. So I just wanted to take some time to give you these words of encouragement and, and, and drop some jewels on you. So tonight, before you go to bed, I want you to take out a piece of paper and a pen and write down the following. I want you to ask yourself the question, number one, what do I want for myself out of my life? Who am I? This is all one question. Who am I? What do I want for me? Not for everybody else. Because it's cool that you want to help other people. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But don't forget to put you first. Stop putting yourself on the back burner trying to promote other folks. Because then you forget you in the process. What did God place in me and what is my purpose in life because that's where you find your fulfillment and your alignment in the universe is when you know who you are whose you are and why you're here the second thing you need to do is write down a plan three-step plan on how you plan to get there and what i mean by there is self-discovery write down three things that you need to do every day that constantly helps you discover you. Now, here are some things that I have done. I have gone to counseling. I am still in counseling because I wanna make sure that I understand me better than anybody else do. When you walk into your own truth, you are a powerful force to reckon with because when you know you, can't nobody tell you who you are and what you should be. Can't nobody distract you because you know the direction you're going in relation to how you see yourself. Another thing I do is I do daily affirmations. I constantly speak life over myself because a lot of us have to undo the programming that other people gave us and put on us and told us who we are in according to how they see us. You see, some of us are still battling with the bags that our parents passed down to us in their brokenness. Because our parents used that slave mentality to make sure that we stayed stuck like them. So now you breaking your parents' generational curses, your grandparents' generational curses, and so on and so forth. So sometimes you got to separate yourself from your lineage of pain. On top of that, I exercise. I eat right. I take better care of myself now, more than I ever did before. I honestly don't even drink nowhere near what I used to back in the day when I was active duty Navy. And I stopped because I understood how that was, de de it was keeping me from being able to connect to higher self, to understand God's messages for me, to see myself clearly outside of the alcohol. I disconnected from people. There were certain people in my life that I had to let go of that was keeping me stuck in that stupor of constantly drinking. Because that was my way of self-medicating was the alcohol. Once I got rid of that, everything started coming to me a lot more clear. So those three steps to help you discover you, to walk into you. The third thing you need to do is write down what is the best outcome that you're looking for through this journey. What are the key things that you feel you will gain from starting this journey? whether that be helping you deal with the traumas from your past, whether that be strengthening your relationship with your parent or a parent that wasn't there, whether that be helping you build on the, upon the relationships that you currently share with the people around you, as well as connecting with your spouse. Because I'm going to tell you something, COVID, COVID is a mother. COVID has shown a lot of people who've been in relationships with people for a long time 
that was laughing at other people like me for being single, that you, you was just in it, but you wasn't in it. Meaning you were in the situationship, but there was no love for the person you're with in you. You see, a lot of people are now forced to deal with the reality of the environment in which they created it. In other words, they have to lay in the bed that they made. <laughs> so now people are starting to get to the realization that there's some things I need to work on within my relationship, not only with my spouse, but with my family, and most importantly, within me. So I'm, I'm going to keep it real short. I just wanted to share these things with you guys today. I'm probably going to be dropping some other videos throughout the week, uh, probably even uh, the end of, of this weekend. I'm going to send something to you guys to just kind of ponder on and, and think about for yourself and self-improvement, how to put yourself on, on a track to greatness. And again, I'm not doing these things to get money. I believe that I will manifest money. Money will come. I'm not doing these things for a popularity contest or to be seen as some great oracle or whatever. I've had a lot of people hit me up in my inbox saying these things, so I'm just putting that out there. I'm doing this because Spirit has talked to me and told me that this is what you need to start doing. I'm being obedient, which is what I'm telling all of you to do. Be obedient to what is there for you. Go within self. Start listening to what's in here. Everything you need to be successful is already in you. And I'll never forget when Denzel Washington made the statement, before you go to bed at night, put your shoes as far up under the bed as you can so you have no choice but to get down on your knees to get them. So while you're there, pray. While you're there, sit Indian style and meditate. Or while you're there, just sit in silence. Just get quiet. No distractions. Tell everybody around you to be quiet. Set aside some me time where it's nobody but you. And if you believe in God, God. If you believe in Allah, pray to Allah. If you believe in the universe, ask the stars to align in your favor. But you have got to use this time that you have wisely. Because once we get to what they're calling the new normal, you won't have the opportunity to engage in this form of reflection. Choose it wisely. Learn to manifest what it is you want. Change the narrative that you speak to yourself and the words you choose to speak over yourself. I had friends who used to tell me back in the day, stop calling yourself fat. They used to tell me, stop calling yourself ugly because these were the things that I would say about myself. That was the stuff that other people had impressed upon me because I didn't understand that sometimes when people fight battles within themselves, they'll pass that battle on to you. So the next thing you know, you broken over somebody else's issues that they're fighting within themselves. Now you calling yourself what they call themselves every day when they look in the mirror. Food for thought. So how back at me. Let me know how the week goes. Let's, let's link up Friday and talk about what you discovered. Take care.